Finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. Here's the kid. Ten points for him. Ogier, the pass to the kid. Shot clock at five. Makes the bucket. Now he's got five field goals. Five for eight in the game. Mega! The downtown skyline illuminating the night here at our broadcast location, Memphis, Tennessee. Thanks for tuning in to the NBA on 2K Sports. It's Wednesday, update, and we're ready to bring you all the action. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg and our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, Dave. Thank you, Kevin. Well, the Grizzlies first found an identity with grit and grind. As a rookie, Jaron Jackson cut his teeth alongside Mike Conley and Mark Gasol. And he said, now it's next gen, but it's still the same sort of mentality. We take defense seriously. That's our staple. And when you do that, you usually win. Guys? They do. Great philosophy and attitude. Thanks, D.A. And a look at the starters for the Hornets. Up of the forward spots, it's Hayward and Bridges. Get out there with LaMelo Ball. And it's Plumley in at the center filling out the middle. And for the Grizzlies, Adams at center with Jackson next to him. John Morant, he's out there with the Anthony Melton. And it's Brooks in at the three. What's the most important thing, Clark, a player has to focus on when it's this early in the season? Well, I think one is making sure you're in really good shape and then getting comfortable with your teammates is another element. And getting your chemistry and timing back, those are probably the most important things. Now, here's Ball. Here's the kid. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. And lots of buzz surrounding this recent announcement MP locking up a partnership with Kia. Kia and the NBA have an extensive working relationship. I mean, to get MP on board is a huge move for everybody involved. Here's Ball following the score by Memphis. Bridges passes to the kid. Back to Bridges. Stolen by Brooks. On the wing, Melton. Back to Brooks. Over Hayward. The Grizzlies keeping it alive with a new 14. And Adams with the slam. They have to put a body on Adams. He's too good of an offensive rebounder to not pay attention. Hayward outside. Passes it to the kid. Nice pass in here by Charlotte. And the rebound goes to the Grizzlies, coming off that loss against the Timberwolves. Scoring efficiency was an issue in that one. Took them too many shots to get their points. Yeah, and I think they just seem to be a page behind, a step slower out there all game. Just around a minute and a half into the first quarter. Adams' shot is good. And how about the power by Adams on that finish? Just brushes off the contact. Here's the kid. He's guarded by Melton. Yes, that goes in. The kid's got his second bucket of the game to go. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Jackson from long range. Morant outside. He dishes it to Brooks. Six to shoot. Ball's knocked loose. Stolen by Ball. Pass to the kid. Over to the wing. 
And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. Dishes at the ball. Down to five on the shot clock. And there's a whistle. That goes on Dylan Brooks. That's his first foul. First team foul. Here's the kid. Last game, an incredible scoring display for him. He had dropped for his third basket. He's missed only one shot. I tell you what, you better watch out, fellas. He is on fire here today. And we all know what can happen when he gets rolling. A hot start can turn into an explosive scoring night. Morant with it. Now defended by the kid. Jackson has the open look. Offensive rebound. Here's Adams. Doesn't get it to drop for him. For Charlotte, they've gone three of four from the field to start out the game. Ball, no good. And here's Moran. He'll bring it up for Memphis. This is their first chance this season playing Charlotte. And last season, they made short work of this club. Two games, two wins. They may have wished for more games against them. A definite disparity in talent. We'll see if they take advantage again tonight. And really the defense foul in there to prevent the layup, but that's exactly what you need to do. It is. I mean, no reason to back Number off and 19. give him the layup. Two Much shot. better off making him go to the line. Both free throws, good from the kid. Memphis trailing here. Morant outside. And finished off by Morant. And you're just asking to get burned when you give Morant a lane, using that speed to his advantage. And coming out of high school, John Morant said he was a no-star recruit. One reason he may have been overlooked was his small-town upbringing. Growing up in Dalzell, South Carolina. Lock at six. Plumley trying to break loose. That one good for two. Ten points for the kid. And at four or five now, a nice start. I mean, he looks ready to make an impact offensively. So far, so good. Morant passes to Adams. To the paint. Here's Jackson. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. And even though he played in an AAU team with Zion Williams, you know, scouts, Greg, were looking right past John Morant. And, and didn't get a lot of offers at first. After two years at Murray State, he, he joined Steph Curry and Damian Lillard as another star point guard out of a mid-major program. And to this day, he carries that underdog chip on his shoulders. For Charlotte, they've gotten four of six field goal attempts to drop in the first quarter. Bridges outside. Here's the kid, Adams defending. Bridges misses. Well, you know, this is what happens. You can't afford to lose concentration even for a nanosecond. Brooks misses. The Hornets trail. Hayward with the ball. He's picked up by Brooks. Up the alley -oop pass, and it's Mitchell slammed Hill. in by Plumley. He pulls off the Houdini to bake that catch and slam it through. Stupendous alley -oop. And the crowd got their jaws dropped on that one. Total disbelief. And that one's good. Morant. Morant. And we've seen several lead changes tonight. Neither team giving an inch. Yeah, and the lead has changed hands, and it just hasn't stayed in those hands very long when it's changed. Back and forth we go. Takes the three. Good on the triple. <laughs> Melton's got five points so far. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Brooks kicks to Morant. Adams outside. And the pass to Jackson. Falls through. He's now made two of four. And what's your take, guys, in the hustle stats for Memphis? And it's been about their defense. They're playing with a frenetic pace, putting a lot of pressure on the ball handlers and forcing turnovers. They've gotten their fair share of points off turnovers so far tonight, too. Here's the kid. 
Jaron Jackson making his last shot. Out to the right wing. Here's the kid, guarded by Jackson. No, sir. Jackson Jr.'s shot blocking abilities. Part of why he was a top five pick back in 18. And that was a great replay we just saw of our mobile one block. And guys, that is lockdown defense at its finest. Going right at the shot and then able to knock it away. Morant with it. His scoring totals are something to take note of. He's averaging over 19 points a game. Count that bucket. For the contact. Can't trip Moran up. He just glides past it and into his shot. Now, here's Ball. Trailing here by eight. There wasn't much defensive resistance there, guys, but somehow he blew it anyway. Missed opportunity. Melton feeling it out a bit. Outside Jackson. Brooks finds Melton. Just five on the clock. Here's Morant. Adams trying to free himself up. Jackson banked in off the glass. And now it's a 10-point Grizzly lead. And now you see him starting to really work the ball inside. And now the first timeout called here for the Hornets. Yeah, things not going their way, and he wants to just try to talk this one over. And you know what, guys? If for nothing else, just to slow things down a little bit, change it up somewhat. So Memphis going with almost an entire new group here. Brandon Clark, he's checked in for Adams. Kyle Anderson comes in for Dylan Brooks. Conchar's checked in for Melton. And Jones subbed in for John Moran. So an almost entirely new group in now for Charlotte. Richards is checked in. Washington comes in for Miles Bridges. Oubre is checked in for Gordon Hayward. And Terry Rozier subbed in for Ball. And the Grizzlies with possession here. After the basket by Charlotte, and there's a whistle. That goes on Terry Rozier. That's his first foul. I mean, that's a tough break for the D. I mean, he took the hit and drew the whistle. Yeah, but he was late to get there, so the referee couldn't give him a free pass on that one. And so it's Memphis with it. Eight-point game. Jones kicks to Anderson. Here's Jackson. Another field goal for him. Four for six shooting tonight. Excellent all-around performance so far. Hits the big lead. Yeah, you know, they've had the advantage at both ends. They've got all the momentum early on. Now, here's Washington. He gives a bit of a scoring lift to the team, averaging eight points a game. Here's Conchar. Outside, Jones. Pass to Clark. Some nice passing there by Memphis. And the basket by Jackson. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Hornets trail by 12. Rozier, the pass to the kid. It's blocked. Well, this is where measurements don't tell the whole story. Clark is a tremendous shot blocker despite having an average wingspan. Now here's Anderson. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. Here's the kid. Ten points for him. Ogier the pass to the kid. Shot clock at five. Makes the bucket. Now he's got five field goals. Five for eight in the game. And he's really shot the ball well, but, but it hasn't been contagious. Jones looking for an opening. Passes it to Jackson. And the kid picks up the foul. That's his first foul. The Grizzlies making a change here. Tillman's checked in. Coming up to the floor from the Grizzlies, Xavier Tillman. Outside, Jones. They get it back. Second shot opportunity. Can't get the layup. Hornets trail by 12. To the inside. Here's the kid. Score the basket. It's number six for him this game. Six for nine. 67% shooting. And he's clearly led the way offensively. The question is, can they ride him and get back into it? On the basket by Jones. Yeah, off to a strong start here early. Six points off second chance buckets. 
Ogier the pass to the kid. Makes it off the glass. 16 points for the kid. And really the scoring this quarter has been just off the charts. Doing all he can to bring him back. Pass to Tillman. Clark outside. One fifty-two left to play in the first. Five to shoot. Here's Conchar, covered by Ubre. The shot, no good. Fast break now for Charlotte. They get the rebound. Richards passes to Washington. Here's the kid, and that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. It goes on Brandon Clark. For Charlotte, they have gone two for two in the game at the line. That's good from the kid. And Daniels checked in for Charlotte. Both free throws, good from the kid. And the Grizzlies leading by eight. Anderson outside. Bobbed up there for Clark. Takes the alley -oop pass and dunks it down. I like their focus coming in to perfect execution so far. And you know, it's an all-out effort they've come in with. Very aggressive offense so far. Jones, the pass to Concha. Here's Tillman. A rebound by Washington. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. Yeah, sensational is a really good word for it. They're tearing it up on the glass. And Jones has it in the corner. There's 42 seconds left in the first quarter. Tipped away. Rozier looking around. The shot's good from the kid. The kid's got 20 points. Well, nice vision that time from the point guard. Rozier's responsibility is to know when his teammate is open and get the ball there. Jones kicks to Anderson. Down low. The lead pass was put in just the right spot. And the Grizzlies lead by 10. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys. And, and it's paid off. Here's the kid, defended by Jones. Ogier, the pass to the kid. Inside. Can't cash in from close range. And so it's Memphis with a 10-point lead. Some breathing room heading into the break. Their shooting has been the big key. Their percentage from the field so far has been terrific. We've got more in store for you right after this. just tuning in we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback what stands out to you from the Grizzlies in this one just cashing in on second chance opportunities that's how they built this early lead Boy, it's grinding it out on the glass they've really been working for those points setting the floor for the Hornets McDaniels is out there with Washington then there's Oubre then there's Terry Rozier and it's Martin in at the two the edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. And really a reflection of their superior effort level to this point. It seems to me they've gone after this win a little bit more. And here's Rogier. He brings it up for the Charlotte Hornets. Down by 12. They couldn't put the pieces together, losing the last matchup with the Lakers. Yeah, I mean, in that one, you really saw a difference in aggression between the two teams, particularly on the board. You know, I think that was the big difference in the game. One team was pounding the glass relentlessly, while the other team... Not And 
ends up going with the new group. Here's the kid. Eight-point game. Driving to the basket. No good that time. Some solid defense there from Jackson. Memphis has got nothing but zeros from long range in the second quarter. All of four. Melton. It's another look. And the layup by Jackson. Jackson's got 15 points. And I like seeing Jackson use that length on the offensive glass. You don't have to be the most physical guy when you have a wingspan like that. Here's Bridges. And the rejection by Jackson. Hayward against Morant. Milton passes to Brooks. Morant looking around. On the wing, Brooks. Clock at four. Pulls it up. Here's Adams. And there's the bucket. Stay with it on the offensive glass. Getting it done. Adams has got four this quarter. And it's coming easy for them right now. Five baskets in a row in the paint. And I say, hey, if it keeps working, go to it. Stay with it. I mean, until the defense responds and provides more resistance, keep making them pay. And maybe that'll trigger them. Impossible not to get pumped up after that. Yeah, well, you could see the immediate reaction of the guys on the bench. They are pumped up. And that's what those alley-oops will do for a team. Ignition, switch, ignite. Yep, that one goes in there. Ten points for him. Well, he's been a rock of offensive support so far. And when they've needed a basket, they've turned to him. Hey, you know a thing or two about being a floor general. It's no longer just a traditional guard role. Not at all. Now there are point forwards, even point centers. And an offense doesn't have to run through the backcourt anymore. You look at guys like LeBron and, and Jokic, it's a different game. Here's Bridges, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Well, I tell you what, you got to like the aggressiveness there from Bridges because he forced the defense that time to commit the foul. Well, Clark, with the success of the play-in tournament, Commissioner Silver pushing for a mid-season tournament with the winning team earning $1 million per play. You know, Kevin, adding additional games I think would be a challenge. I'm not quite sold on that, but I do know that $1 million would incentivize role players. The question is whether or not star players can be as motivated to add more games in the middle of the season. And I've heard Adams is a big gamer, video games. I mean, he doesn't watch sports in his off time like a lot of guys. He'd rather have a controller in his hand. Here's the kid, guarded by Jackson. Here's the kid, in for another field goal. A sublime 9 of 14 on the night. I love the spirit he's shown tonight, particularly on the offensive end. Boy, I tell you what, the hole would be a lot deeper if he wasn't being as efficient as he's been so far. Here's Moran. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That's his second personal foul. That's on Miles Bridges. The, the explosiveness on the drive. Moran just attacks the D. With the rest of the First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Looking back to last season, he was at about 73%. And if you're wondering if Ja Morant lacks for confidence, well, look no further than his point god moniker. This kid is fearless, and he's hungry. And he plays with that proverbial chip on his shoulder. Bridges passes to the kid. To the middle. That falls. Nice feed that time from Ball. Ball's got his third assist on the night. And you cannot leave anybody open on Ball's team because this guy is excellent at finding his teammates. And, Craig, you talk about the fearlessness for Morant, reminiscent of Allen Iverson, the way he throws his body all around. I mean, get knocked down, get right back up. At the same time, at 6'3", he can add strength to that frame. I know that's the goal of his as he looks to absorb contact and dish out a little bit of his own. Ball, the pass to the kid. Goes up at the stripe. Here's Bridges, and the layup falls. Bridges has got five points now in the quarter. Boy, I tell you what, when Bridges is thinking attack, come on now. I mean, he is a vicious offensive rebound. 135 left in the first half of the game. 
Morant dishes to Brooks. Here's Adams. Score the bucket. He's made five so far, shooting a very clean five of seven. Hornets trail by 15. Here's the kid. 24 points for him. 106 left here in the second. Adams puts every ounce of energy into his defense. He's not out there to contest shots. He's out there to reject them. Driving in. Count it. Melton's got nine. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Boy, the defense looks shell-shocked. I mean, they're on the ropes right now, on their heels. Brooks feeling it out a bit. And no good. Hayward with some nice D. And this quarter, he has clearly been off the mark. Seven-second difference, shot and game clock. Inside, the kid. And it's Melton with the rebound. And the Grizzlies leading by 17. He kicks to Adams. Morant against Ball. Morant passes to Adams. And misses it off the right side of the rim. And through one half, it hasn't even been close. Grizzlies lead by 17. Live from the FedEx Forum, you're watching 2K Sports. Wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. A fantastic game from the kid in this one. No problems fighting his way to the rim in this one. A lot of points in close. Yeah, you know what, guys? They gave him too many free runs to the hoop in the first half. I think they've got to be a lot tougher on him. Body him up. Be physical with him. Adams at center with Jackson next to him. Morant is out there with the Anthony Melt. And it's Brooks in at the three, the small forward. That's the lineup in the game for Memphis. And it's Morant missing. Goes back up. And the layup is good. Morant's got the first basket of the second half here for Memphis. I'm sorry. That's poor defense down low again. It's been a mismatch thus far in the paint. I'd agree with you. And I don't think they expected this one to be a game where they would get battered inside like they have. Brooks misses. And here's Ball. He'll bring it up for the Hornets. 19-point game. Next up for them, the Knicks coming out here to play. And that game will kick off a four-game homestand. On the wing, Melton. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And he's got his first free throw of the game. Numbers this year at the line below 70, so he's getting to the line, not nearly as effective as he'd like. And I don't think there's any question about it, guys. He's got to bring that percentage up. I mean, those are the kind of free throw numbers that will get you in a coach's doghouse and get your teammates a little mad at you. Here's the kid. He's guarded by Melton. Bridges kicks the ball. They get a hand on it. Stolen by Brooks. And it's Memphis on the break. Melton no good. Just one for four from the field. Not the way they wanted to start the second half. Ball, the pass to the kid. And he drops in the way up off the glass. The kid's got 26 points. I mean, he is tearing the defense apart. And let's face it, they have not brought their A game on that side of the ball. It was the exact same kind of offensive showcase for him in their last game, too. When it happens this often, that's, uh, that's not a pattern. That's uh, a characteristic. And now, let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. 
And boy, did he get up quick to reject that shot. That's as fundamental as defense gets. Conchar is checked in for Memphis. Conchar. Two minutes into the second half of play now. Ball, the pass to the kid. There's the lob to Bridges. And the rejection by Jackson. Charlotte's ball. Tillman, he's checked in for Steven Adams. Charlotte also making some changes. P.J. Washington, he's checked in for Miles Bridges. Kelly Oubre comes in for Gordon Hayward. And it's Rozier in for ball. 4-3, Oubre. Offensive rebound. The kick out to Rozier. There's the pass to the kid. And that one goes long. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Guys, that's putting it mildly. I mean, they've been absolutely dominant. Conchar, the pass to Moran. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. And yes, it's good. Crafty at cashing in from there. Oubre Jr. enjoys working on his interior game when given the opportunity. And it's Mason Plumley with the foul. Mason Plumley. That's foul number two for him. And the Hornets making a change here. McDaniels checked in. Checking in for the away team, Jalen McDaniels. Jackson kicks to Brooks. Stephen Adams, he's checked in for Tillman. DeAnthony Melton comes in for John Conchar. And Jones subbed in for John Morant. So an almost entirely new group in now for Charlotte. Bridges, he's checked in for P.J. Washington. Hayward comes in for McDaniel. Balls checked in for Kelly Oubre. And it's the kid in for Rogier. Yeah, you know, he hasn't contributed well scoring the ball, but obviously his teammates have. And here's the fast break. Here's Melton, and it's good assisting on the play was Brooks. Brooks has got three assists now in this one. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for the Grizzlies. We've seen them make the extra effort from a defensive standpoint, closing out airspace and sending shots back. It worked hard tonight at crashing the boards as well. They had a bunch of second chance points. Ball feeling it out a bit. the kid. Brooks covering. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. Here's Melton. Ball with the rebound. Ball's got his sixth rebound on the night. Hayward goes in. The Grizzlies pull it in. Adams has got 13 rebounds in the game. Seeded. Outside, Jones. Fades back. Good for another basket. He's put up 10 shots and made seven of them. And this game has been all Adam. He's getting to his spots and capitalizing with ease right now. Seven second difference. Shot and game clock. The kid passes to Plumley. Yep, that one goes. Plumley's got six points. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. And Brooks, here we go. And so it looks like the Grizzlies will retain possession here. Grizzlies ball. Twelve seconds left to play in the third. Three-pointer. Hayward, really a solid defender, uses his length and athleticism do a good job challenging that shot. And so it's Memphis. 
with a 10-point lead. Some breathing room heading into the break. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many of their points coming right at the rim. We come back right after this. with three quarters behind us. Let's see what this fourth period holds in store for us. Hornets trail by 10. And on the court for Charlotte as we start the fourth. Up of the forward spot, it's Hayward and Bridges. LaMelo Ball is out there with the kid. And it's Plumley in its center. Brooks against Bridges. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. That's his play. That's on Miles Bridges. First and team. the toughness of Brooks on display. At not fearing contact Bruce. when he's looking Billy to score Bruce. inside. At the line for two. And that one falls for Brooks. And both free throws good for Brooks. And at the line, it's all about consistency with him. His routine, his stroke, it never wavers. Ball, the pass to the kid. Shoots from 12. And the rebound goes to the Grizzlies. Their biggest lead of the game was 21. Hayward against Brooks. Shot clock at six. Knocks it loose. Stolen by Ball. Stolen by Jackson. A little over a minute of the fourth quarter gone right now. Brooks misses. You know what? They're winning, though, despite the fact that he has just been really off. The kid passes to Hayward. Here's the kid, guarded by Jackson. Knocked away. Now, here's Melton. He's covered by Ball. There's the drive. Offensive rebound. Score that one for him. His eighth field goal. Eight for 11 on a very accurate night. Well, he's been doing it all night. Why not go back to it? And no let up in him either, guys. I mean, he wants to continue to expand that lead. And as long as he's the one taking the shot, that Jones. lead's going to expand. And That's there's the call first on first Jones. First team, that is his first foul of the game. You know what? Tried to step in and cut him off, but just didn't get there quick enough. Yeah, he was one step late that time. Just five to shoot. Nice pass in here by Charlotte. Plumley, no luck. And the Grizzlies leading by 14. Jones with it. Now defended by Hayward. Jones, no luck. And so it's Ball with it. He brings it up for the Hornets. They have yet to put up any points here in the fourth. Here's Bridges. Lays it up off the glass. Well, he's very dependable from that area. So Bridges, to me, should look to keep attacking when he gets the ball in this space. Jones, the pass to Melton. Adams taking his time here. The dish now to Brooks. Jackson trying to break free. No good there. Hornets trail by 12. Guys, they're looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively. Spot for sure. He had to be That's his first personal foul. The first free throw is good. Shooting for shot. Number 19. At the line. Both free throws good from the kid. Grizzlies have gone 1 of 5 from the field here in the fourth. A lot of misses, just the one make. 
Adams finds Jackson. And there's the call on Gordon Hayward. Gordon Hayward. That is his first foul of the game. First personal foul. Second team foul. Jones with the bounce pass. Milton passes to Brooks. Trying to find Jackson. He's got it now. Shoots over Bridges. And after getting off to such a good start offensively in that first half, haven't been quite as efficient here in the second. Number the lead one. now cut to single digits. And that's now 30 points for the kid. I tell you what, what a good thing that he showed up today because without him, this thing would already be over. And here's Jones. Here's Jackson. And that comes off the assist by Jones. And how about the strength of Jackson there? Uses it whenever he's going up inside and fighting through the contact. Ball, the pass to the kid. Back to ball. Passes to the kid. And there's the drive. That one falls. The kid's got six here in this quarter. Despite the play of the team, I think he's had an outstanding game. He's really done well here. Now here's Brooks. In the corner, it's Melton. Brooks outside. Six on the shot clock. Now here's Melton. Defense is right there. That shot, no good. Hayward passes to the kid. Going inside. Oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. And they hold a huge advantage on the backboard. And that's been the key to this lead. I mean, they've really dominated the glass. Down low, here's Adams. Can't hit from in close. Hornets trail by eight. Pass to Bridges. He blocks it again. A, a defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Greg protecting the rim. Love the hustle. Takes the 13-footer, and it's good off the back of the rim and in. Six points for Brooks. Inside, outside, mid-range. Brooks has the accuracy to make whatever look he hits work for him. And the Grizzlies leading by 10. Tries from 10, and the jumper falls for him. And so here's Charlotte. Here's the kid. And it's Melton with the rebound. Melton's got four rebounds in this game. Brooks dishes to Jones. And he gets the whistle for the three-second call. The Grizzlies making a change here. Anderson's checked in. The Hornets also changing it up. Oubre is checked in for Hayward. And Terry Rozier subbed in for the kid. Charlotte calls timeout. Yeah, he needs to tell his guys to just box out with some energy. That, that's basic basketball. They've been lazy on the backboard and have allowed way too many second chance points. And now, a moment to present the New Balance player of the game, LaMelo Ball. And, and to me, the best part of his game has been... No problem for Memphis as they get the win. A confident win in one where they clearly showed the greater effort. Yeah, I mean, it was a solid performance, uh, particularly here at home. Uh, I think they built off that edge of being here and, and playing with just a little more confidence than their opponent. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long.
I need a big, 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 big,